वेलकम बैक एंड थैंक्स फॉर स्टेइंग विद अस बिग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ कमिंग इन स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम झारखंड वी आर लर्निंग दैट ईडी मूव्स टू झारखंड हाई कोर्ट ओवर एन एफआईआर व्हिच वाज फाइल्ड बाय एक्स झारखंड चीफ मिनिस्टर हेमंत सोरेन अंडर एससीएसटी एक्ट द पिटीशन वाज फाइल्ड ऑन 3rd ऑफ फरवरी अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑफिशियल्स एंड द कंप्लेंट वाज फाइल्ड एट द एससीएसटी पुलिस स्टेशन इन रांची इट्स अ बिग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ एट द आवर इट्स अ बिग डे फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ झारखंड एज़ वेल भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा ऑफ कांग्रेस इज ऑल स्लेटेड to uh, join uh, ranchi as well they are all scheduled to move to uh, uh, ranchi and apart from that the big story which is being played out is the tussle between ed and hemant sore now ed has moved to jharkhand high court over fir filed by hemant sore under scst act the petition was filed on 3rd of february according to the word that we have received from the officials we have seen a news it is saurabh back with us on the broadcast he has been tracking this story very very closely saurabh please walk us through this fir that has been lodged by hemant sore and about the police station where it has been launched what can be expected next see uh, hemant sorin uh, before uh, you know uh, on the day of uh, giving his resignation he had uh, earlier uh, filed an fir with the scsc police station in ranchi where uh, it was alleged that the arrest that was being made uh, was because of the malicious intent of uh, the ed because the ed officials uh, in fact uh, those who went uh, to uh, the delhi premises for search was illegal and uh, because they all were uh, from non tribal community they tried to uh, you know uh, 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 dishonor our uh, chief minister who comes from a tribal community so clearly in the fir uh, which was submitted at uh, which was filed at uh, the scsc police station in ranchi they uh, the the fir uh, clearly showed that uh, four officers and other officers of the regional office in ranchi were involved in uh, 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 in invalid and um with malicious in intent and vexatious intent uh, to uh, in fact topple the government and uh, the arrest that was made was uh, invalid and uh, th that was for uh, you know uh, creating dishonor to the state uh, so that uh, you know that uh, the intention of the central government uh, is carried by the officers that went for a raid i remember uh, in delhi when Uh, Hemant Sorin was uh, present there. Uh, the, uh, he went, uh, you know, on 26th. Hemant Sorin had flown to Delhi on a charter plane, and after that, uh, because of the 10th summon that was issued, and he did not reply on that summon, the ID officials had, uh, you know, went into the uh, premises of uh, Hemant Sorin in Delhi in search where uh, two vehicles were seized at, and also uh, cash was uh, seized from his house. and after that uh, when hemant sorin returned and reappeared at his residence uh, he uh, in fact filed a, 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 a fir at the police station in rachi in the scsc uh, police station where he alleged that the officers being non tribal trying to implicate uh, the chief minister who comes from a tribal community and after now we are learning that uh, hemant sorin has filed a petition and has uh, the ed has filed a petition in the high court challenging that fir saying that they were doing doing their business and they were on a investigation under which they went to the premises as well as they had taken hemant sorin into the custody so uh, uh, both of these uh, matters are going to take uh, you know uh, being taken by the high court today and uh, uh, it will be interesting to see whether hemant sorin who has uh, applied for a relief in the case of ed arrest which happened 3 days back and now the ed has uh, filed a petition challenging the hemant sorin's fir in the scsc uh, police station definitely sir but at the same time what's more crucial is that hemant sorin has been allowed to cast the votes today could you just walk us through that as well hemant sorin had applied to the special uh, pmla court uh, seeking uh, you know uh, uh, seeking uh, permission to take part in the vote of press which is uh, scheduled today at 11 am uh, today and then uh, the special pmla court had given the permission to hemant sorin to appear for a uh, trust uh, trust vote saying that it is nothing wrong uh, for the ed to take him to the legislative assembly and let him vote because he is he is still an mla so um, he has been given the permission for the voting the jmm led uh, upa is confident about the number saying that 48 mlas are there in the support of champai soren and uh, meanwhile we are going to see that uh, hemant soren will be brought to legislative assembly from ed office 
and uh, then he will take part in the vote of confidence also earlier saurabh we were talking about jmm being absolutely affirmative about their majority in the session today could you walk us through that that what are the bjp's claims about the, all this poaching drama that played out in the state of jharkhand how mlas were fled to hyderabad and now they have come back just for their vote could you walk us through that as well this political drama that is being played out is actually uh, as i told that jmm is confident about uh, the number of mlas that are in support with uh, uh, champai surin as the chief minister today uh, vote of trust is also going to uh, happen uh, at around 11 am uh, but uh, uh, in, in the past uh, in fact uh, for two days the mlas of uh, jmm and congress they went to hyderabad for resort politics and they went to a five star uh, uh, you know uh, resort uh, and and uh, the reason uh, cited by these you know by the leaders of jmm and congress saying that there was a fear of poaching because in the past also we had seen in 2022 when such crisis situation uh, happened then three mlas uh, from congress were caught uh, with cash in uh, in in west bengal uh, and uh, havra police uh, had taken them into custody so uh, after that uh, the uh, you know uh, to to avoid any kind of crisis situation and to avoid any kind of poaching uh, they had taken the mlas to Uh, Hyderabad. This is what uh, the Congress and the German uh, Supremes are, you know, they they are saying. And now uh, BJP is uh, now alleging that uh, because uh, the JMM and Congress MLAs are afraid, they don't trust their leaders. In fact, uh, one of the MLAs of BJP sa said that uh, uh, the the MLAs are being kept hostages, whether it was Ranchi Circuit House or Hyderabad Hyderabad, uh, you know, resort. So uh, they are saying that, uh, in fact. Uh, the mlas of congress and jma are are uh, you know spending the exchequer's money they are wasting it and uh, now we see that all the mlas are back in the state they are going to take part in the vote of trust today and uh, the blame game is uh, you know on from both the sides right sir thank you so much for walking us through all those crucial details we'll keep coming back to you for more updates on that through the day right now shifting focus